back to my channel. The last video I had made for you guys was me picking up my Evo from Paradox, putting her back together and kind of doing a little um, reveal photo shoot for you guys. And I wanted to come on here and do a little update video, address some of the comments that were made on Paradox's video because there were so many views and so many comments and a lot of the comments weren't the best. So I kind of just wanted to address some of them for people that cared. A lot of you guys know me, you know my personality, and I know that I don't need to explain myself, but I'm going to anyway. I also wanted to just do like a little update video on Sophie because why not? I get questions all the time asking what I have planned for her, and I'll do a little update also on my life because I have so much going on right now and I want to keep you guys informed. For those of you that have been following me along on my long crazy journey, um, it hasn't ended and uh, it just keeps getting better. So. so I have some pretty exciting news about myself. Personally, I might be moving again because I need a bigger space for my brand Endangered. A lot of you guys know I run my brand Endangered. It's a brand about mental health awareness and as it's growing and expanding, I too need more space for all my stuff, all my inventory. So. I am looking into a place to rent that will accommodate everything I have and everything I need to have, so I'm excited for that. Also a garage, a bigger garage for both my cars and a, um, a place to work on them because right now the spot I have is very cramped. You might see in a little bit when I take you guys to my garage. I wanted to announce that my brand Endangered will be having a Black Friday sale this Friday, so the entire store is going to be 20% off. So. If there's something you've been wanting to buy for a while but really couldn't afford it, now's your chance to get it 20% off. A lot of you guys wanted this Sophie version 2 pin. I have a couple of them left. They will be 20% off on Black Friday. The license plates, this one says, don't let your demons drive you. I love this one so, so much. Um, we have a couple new jet tags. We have this pink one that says the brand Endangered on the back. It's Japanese. It says never alone. That's kind of our slogan, you're never alone. There's always someone there that wants to listen and help you and it's really, really important to know that you can ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Um, we also have the Don't Let Your Demons Drive You jet tag, which I really love this message. I came up with it because it's really important. Everybody has their demons. Everybody is going through something. Everyone has. Um, the bad parts of them that can overcome them and kind of put them in a dark place. So don't let your demons take over. Don't let them drive you. You are your own person. Your demons are just sitting passenger. So that's the message behind the brand. We also have the Don't Let Your Demons Drive You shirt. We have hoodies still and we're making a bunch of new stuff. Everything's going to be 20% off this Friday. So make sure you guys check it out if you're interested. I am almost sold out of a lot of stuff. So make sure you guys are there. Friday as soon as we open to kind of get like the last little bit of stuff that is uh, available in certain sizes. Those are some of the items we have for sale on my site um, along with a bunch of other stuff. We have windbreakers, lanyards, bunch of stickers and we are always constantly adding so make sure you guys check out my website. There will be a link down to it down below and if you could please follow my Instagram page endangered.co. It's down below also. That helps so much so if you guys want to support the brand Give us a like on Facebook, Instagram, comment, like our stuff. That helps so much, just as much as purchasing stuff. So I appreciate everyone who does that as well. So now I'm going to jump into some of the comments that were posted on Paradox's video. It has over 200,000 views, which is crazy because it was literally just last week. So I'm really happy that video got traction for Paradox because it was a really fun video and opportunity for him because my car was previously wrapped. It was done terribly. Um, we took the whole car apart. It looked so bad. Not that my Evo is normally like clapped out, but like with everything off of it and after we sanded down all the little rock chips, like it did look really bad. So Paradox took my terrible wrap job, my torn apart Evo and wrapped it to what it looks like now. And he did an amazing job. It looks so good. I am really, really happy with it. I'm actually taking my Evo back to him December 5th just to do a little bit of touch-up work because there are certain spots that are peeling up a little bit or bubbling and that's pretty normal with wrap. I'm actually going to get the car ceramic coated 
I think this week or next week and it's going to be fully detailed inside and out, ceramic coated, the whole ordeal by my friend Josh aka Icy Evo. I'm so excited because I never detail Sophie. I'm I'm terrible when it comes to detailing. I am the type of person that like doesn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a detail because I feel like my car gets just dirty again in a couple weeks and it bothers me. So the majority of this year my car has been in the in the shop, in multiple shops. It's been in and out, bad luck all year long. It was 2020 for my car as well. And uh, quite frankly, I never really had any motivation to clean her. I was like, you know what? It's an ongoing project. People are in and out of this car. But now that she's finally back, one piece looks good. She deserves that detail. She deserves a nice ceramic coating. So that is coming for her very soon. A lot of you guys said I seemed really unenthusiastic, really unappreciative. And I have a couple reasons behind that. Um, one, a lot of you guys didn't know that my car was literally the same color before he wrapped it. So going into this, I... I wasn't sure if I really was going to be surprised considering my car was already green before. However, this was just totally different. The way he wrapped it, all the details was so different. And like the second I saw the car, I was caught off guard. Like I wasn't expecting to be surprised, if that makes sense. So it took me a second to like find the words I wanted to say. Um, I honestly thought I'd have to just act surprised, but like genuinely, I. I was speechless. I was so happy I didn't really know what to say. So um, I'm sorry if it comes off that way. He knows how happy I am with the car and the way it turned out. Like I wanted it to look like this for a really long time, but I never had the guts to go full green. And now that I did it, I am so obsessed with it. The other thing is too, right before we filmed the video, he told me like, just so you know, it's not perfect, and I am the biggest worrier in the entire world, so naturally after he said that, I was like, oh god, oh god, like, what's gonna happen? Like, it, he didn't finish something, like, he ran out of wrap, it's not gonna look good, like, I, my heart was racing, I was so nervous, like, I thought he was gonna give me more bad news, so I was super excited, and then I got, like, nervous, and then, and then I realized, like, we were filming, and I had to react, and, like, when I saw it, I was like, wait what like this is amazing like he scared me for no reason like i was so happy but i was like caught off guard i guess you could say so um again i was super happy with, with the results i'm sorry if it came off as like me being a little bit like snobby or whatever but like i love the car so much and i just needed that moment to kind of like soak in what it looked like because that was a really special moment for me and like I was kind of internalizing it for a second so sorry 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 I have so much planned for Sophie it's actually ridiculous um, she's not a huge priority to me right now she runs really well she sounds amazing she looks amazing so my list of stuff I want to do to her isn't like oh my gosh like we have to hurry and get it done like I spent so much money on this car this year that I kind of wanted to just ride out the rest of the year just working on my projects working on my brand moving doing all this stuff that takes time energy and money and pause on my evo but i did meet a guy who does custom stuff and he's amazing and he wants to work with me and i'm so so excited because he is the definition of talented and I'm excited to see how he's going to help me with Sophie's interior. So I've been wanting to redo Sophie's interior for a really long time so I think that's where my, I'm going to like tunnel vision, like that's all I'm going to see is Sophie's interior. Like the headliner needs to be fixed, all the interior trim pieces need to be redone. Um, I want to do a custom double in like iPad setup in the center. I want to build a custom um, dash piece for the IC7 dash from Haltech. I want to do a rear seat delete that looks amazing. I want to do so much. There's so much stuff I want to do and um, I promise whatever I do I will film it for you guys but for now, for now I'm just gonna enjoy it. So right now I'm gonna take you guys with me to the garage and we're gonna install Sophie's new banner and if I can do it you guys can do it for sure because I'm not really good with this kind of stuff. I'm super impatient, but uh, these banners are universally fit, so we will have to trim off some of the pieces. If you guys are interested in getting a banner, make sure you check them out on my website down below. There are four different designs, I think. Oh, actually there's five. 
Um, it's two designs, but like different variations of them. So yeah, so you can check those out on my website. But before we go to the garage, guys, if you haven't already, please give this video a like, thumbs up, turn on the bell, subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me. I'm saying that now because I guarantee I'm going to forget to say it in like 10 minutes. But uh, <laughs> let's go to the garage. Just finished washing Sophie. Um, I just need to dry her off really quick, get her ready for tomorrow's photo shoot. I'm really, really excited for that. The guy is super talented. I'm taking the Audi this weekend to Oregon. Um, I might do a little road trip video. I think that would be fun. I haven't taken my Audi up to see my dad since I, I made it all fancy and pretty. So I, I'm excited to see his reaction to it. A lot of you guys liked my dad when I brought him into the vlog because he's such a funny guy. I will introduce you guys to him, get his reaction of the Audi on camera. That would make a good wholesome video. So I'm gonna do that. I miss my dad. Uh, maybe give him a little ride along in the Audi even though it's really not that fast, but it's cute. It sounds good. Remember, I am doing a sale on my website Friday through Monday for 20% off of everything. So if you guys are interested in that, the link is down below for my site. But yeah, if you guys have watched the entire video today, thank you so much for your support. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the bell if you guys want to be alerted when I post, and I will catch you guys in the next video.